Welcome to our lecture online. Another question that may come up is how much additional weight do you require in order to get the object to sink or at least, at the very least, for the surface of the water then to reach the very top of the object. Let's say that just as in the previous video, the object is floating and a portion of the object is above the surface and a portion of the object is below the surface of the water. Let's assume that the liquid is water and so that x is the distance below the surface, y is the distance above the surface. But now we place an extra object on top of it in order to drive it further down into liquid so that the liquid now is even with the very top of the surface. Any additional mass up there or weight will simply make the object sink. Before we place the object down there, notice that the buoyancy force which pushes the object up is equal to the weight of the object and when those two are equal to one another, that's where the level of the surface of the water will then uh, balance out or find its equilibrium point along the side of the object there. Now when you place an additional object on top, what's going to happen now is you're going to have an additional weight pushing down. Let's call this little mg for the weight on top. Big mg is the weight of the, of the block in the water and so you're going to need an additional buoyancy force to balance that out. So let's call that BF2. This is the buoyancy force which is required to keep this afloat. Now what we can say, again, that the weight of the object, so let's write that out, the weight of the object is equal to mg small m being the mass of the object, which is equal to the buoyancy F2, the buoyancy force 2, which is the additional buoyancy force required to keep the object from the whole block from sinking. And we know that this is equal to the weight of the additional liquid displaced. So you can see now that the additional liquid displaced is the liquid that would be equal in volume to the top portion of this block right here. That's the additional liquid that now gets displaced. The weight of that additional liquid must equal the weight of this object. We can say that the weight of the additional liquid displaced is going to be m times g of the additional liquid. I'll also call it al for additional liquid. And of course realizing that the definition of density is mass divided by volume which means that the mass can be written as the density times the volume. So this can be written as the density times the volume times g of the additional liquid. Of course, this is the density of the liquid, this is the additional volume. So maybe write it as the density of the liquid times the change in the volume, the additional volume that's being pushed into the, into the liquid times g. So I'll write this additional liquid right here. So it's the volume of this portion right here. Notice that the size of the cube is L by L and H for height, but the portion that's above the surface before we put the weight on it would be equal to Y. So this can be written as the density of the liquid times L square Y times G. Notice that this here is the additional volume displaced. And that would then have to be equal to the buoyancy force 2, which is equal to the weight of the object. So the mg of the object is equal to the density of the liquid times additional volume pushed below the surface times g. Finally, what we can do then here is solve this for m, and m is equal to, of course, the g's cancel out on both sides, so m can be equal to the density of the liquid times the additional volume submerged, or we can say that the mass that you can place on there is equal to the density of the liquid times, in this case, that would be L squared times Y. So however you want to write it, that is how you find how much additional mass placed on top will be required in order to get the object to the point where it's just about to sink. Any additional mass beyond that will indeed, of course, push the object below the surface and make it sink. And that's how it's done.